Here's the thing, guys. I really didn't want to make this video. I've been putting it off for a long time, uh, but a bunch of you would have noticed that uh, two of the main YouTube distilling channels have gone AWOL. Bearded and Bored and uh, George from Barley and Hops. Why, what's going on, and uh, what can we do about it? Let's talk. How's it going, Chasers? I hope you're having a kick-ass week. I'm Jesse, this is Still It, and we're here to talk today about a couple of missing YouTube channels. Uh, and like I said, I really didn't want to make this video simply because, I don't know, man, it feels kind of like gossip. It feels like talking about someone else's business. And uh, that just feels weird to me. But <sighs> so many of you people keep asking me, and <laughs> it's not that I'm sick of typing the reply out, it's just that I'm a little bit sick of typing the replies out. And also, I've seen a bunch of kind of rumory type stuff, so I figured I should finally make a video about it, right? So first of all, let's talk about the stuff that I actually know what the hell I'm talking about. So let's talk about Bearded and Bored first. Bearded and Bored is my oldest YouTube internet buddy. We got in touch with each other right around the time that we were both thinking of making a YouTube channel and we've uh, we've stayed in contact ever since. So I appreciate the friendship, dude, I really do. Uh, and it's nice to be able to talk shop with someone because it isn't easy finding someone to talk shop with about YouTube. Anyway, anyway, the reason I say what I, uh, I want to talk about this first because I know what I'm talking about is I have been literally talking with Bearded. And uh, basically what happened, guys, is, is Bearded, I think it was right before Christmas, he, he ended up getting a... Uh, another quote-unquote real job, like a day job, which was both really long hours and both super physical work. And and I can tell you guys, I feel for him. Like the, the process of going off and putting in hard yakka at the day job and then coming in and finding the time to, you know, to, to do the side hustle stuff is pretty damn tricky, especially going into the, the, the silly season and so on and so forth. So I can't blame him for taking his foot off the gas a little bit. But I can promise you guys, he's promised me that he's going to be back soon with some really cool videos. I'm hoping, I'm hoping actually, uh, a few days after this video goes live, you'll be able to see some of his videos. So, so when that video comes out, make sure to go over and uh, check it out and support it. Honestly, the best thing you can do uh, if you want to see Bearded make more videos is support the crap out of the the channel and the, the videos as they come out because man it, it, it's a tricky thing being stuck in that kind of like mid-sized almost large youtube channel but not quite uh it's not big enough to support him and the family he can't just you know cut ties to day job it's tricky man i get it dude uh and if you guys want to see more videos from him support his shit all right guys time for the giant uh elephant in the room uh george from bali and hops so here's the thing, guys. Um, there was people that came before George in terms of uploading a couple of random things on distilling, uh, but he is the granddaddy, the OG, the godfather of distilling content on YouTube in terms of being an actual YouTube channel. And what I mean by that is someone that's actually producing content, uh, stuff that's put together in a, in a format that works on YouTube. Of course, George was much more on the, the, the low-key conversational side of things for YouTube, but it was still solid YouTube content. And he, he treated it like a job. He uploaded regularly. He had an actual channel. He had a community. He uh, created a, a group of people that gave a damn about what he was doing and interacted back and forth between them. He, he was the, the godfather of that on YouTube for distilling. And I'll tell you what, guys, if he didn't exist when I was thinking about starting this, I would have never started. Never. Because honestly, guys, I don't know if I would have had the balls to start a channel in an untested genre. I had the luxury of seeing that he was doing it and seeing that people gave a damn. Uh, and knowing YouTube, I knew there was room for more channels, right? Without George, I never would have got started. And the... the <laughs> And, and it pains me, it's sad to say this, but uh, George hasn't uploaded for eight months. And that's kind of what I'm here to talk about mostly, right? So first of all, uh, I mentioned the rumory stuff. And, and I don't mean this as an attack on anyone in particular. It's just kind of the way my brain works with stuff like this. Uh, I've heard a lot of people, 
bounce things around to do with his health, to do with law enforcement, to do with stuff like that. And every time someone tells me, oh, this is what's happened, and I ask them, thanks for the information, where did you hear that from? Can I actually trust the source of this information? Uh, everyone, every single time has said, oh, I actually don't know. I heard it from so-and-so, we heard it from so-and-so, and you know, so on and so forth. Um, so in my mind, I discount anything like that and I will not repeat it. So I'm not going to repeat any of that stuff. I mean, it's out there. You can go looking for it if you want to. It's not worth it. It's not worth speculating on someone else's life, <laughs> in my opinion. Here's what I actually know right now. Uh, yes, there was a incident in the past in, with a certain group of people that led to George taking a bunch of videos down for a while before he put them back up again. All I'm going to say about that, as far as I can tell, that is completely unrelated to what's going on now. Number two, I've talked to someone that had direct contact with George on this subject uh, somewhat recently, after he went, after he went missing. That person's going to re remain nameless uh, because that's between him and George. If he wants to, to come out and you know say that it was him and, and uh, give exact specifics on this, then that's entirely up to him. Uh, the only information we got from that contact, and by we I mean I was told by that person, the only information we got from that contact was that George stated that he was taking a long-deserved rest, and that's all we know. Number one, first and foremost, and really the only thing that kind of matters in this situation, for me on a grand scale, is that we respect it. George has decided to step back from it for whatever reason. Those reasons are his. Uh, and he doesn't feel like being in contact with the community at this time. So we just have to respect that. And he has that right, 100%. And from what I can tell, 99.999% of people are in exactly that boat. Uh, they completely respect his decision to do whatever. They're respecting his privacy. Um, and they're just sad to see him go because he was a large part of people's lives. But I have seen a couple of times, how do I put this without just straight up putting people on blast? To be honest, I kind of want to put them on blast. Um, people acting like they have a right to his content and how could he deprive them of... It, it makes no sense, man. The dude, like all YouTubers pretty much are doing this stuff for free. <laughs> George doesn't owe you anything. YouTubers don't owe you anything. Uh, Pretty much the way this platform works is that we make content for free uh, and if you decide to watch it, we get paid a little bit by um, through YouTube AdSense and whatever other means that we decide to set up. But that is not a contract. And you know, you put, YouTubers don't owe you anything. George doesn't owe you anything. He put blood, sweat and tears. And let me tell you, it really is blood, sweat and tears. I know it seems easy to put these videos out, but it's, it's not easy. He gave a significant portion of his life to putting these videos out. He didn't need the money. He wasn't doing it for the money. That's not what it was to him. Um, and it's 100% his choice to just stop. If you think I'm talking directly to you and putting you on blast, I almost, I promise you, I'm almost not. Like, like I said, everyone, pretty much everyone, statistically everyone has been awesome about this whole situation. There's just a few people who have been acting like dicks, basically. Uh, and I wanted to call that out. And yeah, well, there it is. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. That's as far as I can tell what the uh, what the community actually knows about the situation. I did not want to make this video because it just seems stupid. It seems like tabloid bollocks that I don't want to get involved in. Um, but at the same time, I feel like I'm in somewhat of a position to just put it out there and say, this is what it is. This is how it is. This is what we know. It's sad. I get it. A lot of people miss George's videos and, and miss that sort of weekly content from him. But the reality is there's a, a good chance that we're just not going to see any more content from him, which is really unfortunate and sad. But there is some good news to this whole situation, and that is that, man, these flies are intense today. Get out of here. Um, that is that there is a whole new generation of channels coming up and being created at the moment. Um, sure, statistically, you know, probably only a couple of them are going to survive, like long term and in, in five years. Uh, but I really hope that's not the case. And because of that, uh, what I want to do is uh, go through some of them, share them with you. 
So if you're missing content and you want more distilling content, uh, maybe give these channels a go. Some of these channels are just not um, to my own personal tastes, but I can totally see the merit for, um, you know, like they, they will be to someone else's taste. So here's a whole bunch of channels. <clears throat> so here's a whole bunch of channels in no particular order. Uh, links will be in the description down below. I'll give you like a one sentence summary of each and you guys should 100% go out and uh, check these out and see if some of them are for you. All right, uh, we already talked about them, better than bored. If you haven't checked them out, do it. It's well worth it. <laughs> uh, Beaver DIY, who is a like small to mid-sized channel, but he's growing rapidly and he's putting out some really awesome content. Uh, I collaborated with him on a banana brandy video. Oh, he's South African, if you're into that. <laughs> the Whiskey Tribe and the Whiskey Vault, which are not really distilling channels. Uh, the Whiskey Vault is great if you're looking for tasting notes or you're looking for a certain type of whiskey to emulate. Uh, and the Whiskey Tribe is kind of a little bit more meme-y, YouTube-y style content about anything related to whiskey or distilling. Uh, but there's some cool distilling knowledge in there as well. Clawhammer Supply are a pretty large YouTube channel that used to do some distilling content and now have moved mostly to brewing. Uh, just FYI, they do have a commercial store that is linked to the channel. They sell brewing supplies and uh, distilling supplies, you know, just so you know. Dr. Gratis, a similar kind of thing to Clawhammer, except he's based in Russia. Good dude, I've talked to him a couple of times. Uh, great content, great ideas, and uh, honestly guys, the equipment that they make is really freaking cool. I'm looking at some of it now, the more I get to know it, the more I love it. He's got a Russian channel and a English channel. Still behind the bench, it's a small channel now, I'm guessing it's gonna grow. Uh, it is very technically and geekery orientated, but he has some other random distilling content there as well. Uh, and he does some really cool uh, explanations on it with a, a top-down um, whiteboard style camera for the technical stuff, well worth checking out. Still in the clear, uh, American based, kind of moonshiny type stuff, I guess you could categorize it as, but it's a whole lot more than that. Um, production is chill and relaxed, but the audio is excellent and the, the, the production that is there is quite crisp. Miss Brewbird, uh, this channel's a little bit different. She's actually in the industry, she works at different places, uh, and because of that, she kind of gets a behind the curtain look and talks about stuff that's more industry related. Highly spirited. Uh, if you are into distilling content and you like really off the wall dad-like humor, this might just be the channel for you. Open source distilling, very tech and uh, geekery related, you know, coding your own Arduino stuff to make little projects for distilling uh, using little gadgets, so on and so forth, but obviously more than that as well. Stillworks and brewing uh, is a really like relaxed, down-to-earth, conversational style YouTube channels, uh, a lot of recipes, but just sort of general discussion about distilling as well. Moonshine Mafia, this one's a bit different. They have uh, multiple different contributors to the channel uh, and it is super freaking relaxed. They don't let stuff like editing <laughs> get in the way of what they're making most of the time. Uh, but because of that, it creates a really cool kind of like hangout environment. It's often halfway between like a YouTube video and a, uh, a live stream, almost feel. Interesting. And we also have a, uh, a few other channels that aren't really distilling related necessarily, but they cross over really well for distilling. The Brew Show, uh, super clean, well-produced content uh, made about brewing beer. The Apartment Brewer, once again, really solid uh, production value and it's focused mainly on small scale and small location brewing of beer. Yeah, that describes it well. <laughs> The Craft Beer Channel, uh, these guys are, yeah, they're over 100K now, I'm almost certain, which is awesome. Very relaxed, very chilled, well-made videos, and they're starting to go after much more ambitious uh, projects all the time, which is really freaking cool, uh, and getting some cool access into uh, the industry and professional brewers as well. City Steading, uh, very cool people making very cool content in a mostly relaxed, sort of chilled fashion about, I mean, Anything that's a fermented beverage, <laughs> really? Tech Ingredients does all sorts of crazy science education kind of stuff, but every now and again, he will swing back around to distilling and make another distilling video. And when he does, make sure you check him out. 
And lastly, Homebrew for Life, who makes um, like really YouTube -y, YouTube y kind of content, lots of meme uh, cut in references and other video and stuff like that, uh, all about homebrewed beer. If you have a channel about distilling and you're not on that list uh, and I didn't call you out, I apologize. But for whatever reason, if your channel didn't make the, uh, the list, feel free to drop it in the comment section down below. Put a link. I Totally, I'm totally cool with that. As far as I'm concerned, YouTube is not a zero-sum game. Uh, for winners, they don't have to be losers, is what I'm saying. A community is a good thing, and I, I mean, I hope that I wake up in two years' time and there's like five or six distilling channels over 100k. That would be awesome. Uh, so yeah, stick comments down below with links to channels that you like. Everyone else, feels free to discuss which channels you do like, which channels you, you know, you don't prefer. Just be human beings and be nice about it. Cool. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, good news on Bearded, sad news on George, but I mean, it is what it is, and I felt like I needed to tell you. Make sure you check out some of those new channels uh, and help the whole community grow. It's good for them. It's good for you guys, more content, and it's good for me as far as I'm concerned as well. So, uh, you know, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you want more content like it, and, and I'll catch you next time, guys. Keep on chasing the craft. See ya.